exercises help to keep your knees strong and to keep that area sound where you won't have a routine uh, where you will not have a routine tear of that ligament. Lately, I've been hearing this young lady had an ACL tear or MCL tear playing basketball. You have to get on these leg machines to tighten that muscle group up around that MCL, that ACL, that LCL. So a tear of you doing something routine will not be imminent. Trust me on this. I've lost count of how many meniscus tears that I've had. I mean, in both knees. But a meniscus tear is nothing compared to an ACL, an MCL, or LCL tear. That's nothing. Meniscus, meniscus tears are nothing. So I was still able to function at a high rate on the basketball court with playing with reckless abandonment which means I leave everything out there on the court. I'm causing problems and headaches for guys twice my height and twice my size. Your legs. You have the fibula and the tibia, which is down here, which is like your shin bones and the bone behind. Your bones, believe it or not, when you're younger, they're pliable. What I mean by pliable? Well, they're flexible. In other words, they can go to a certain degree of bending before they break or before they get, or before a fracture or a compound fracture occurs. That's when you're caught in an uncompromised position. The most strongest bone in your body, believe it or not, is the thigh bone. That bone has the density, believe it or not, of the famed New Jersey barrier those concrete barriers that you see on the road that they use. That's how strong that bone is, and it's called the femur. Why you think that bone never gets broken? Because of the density of that bone. Each time that you do any type of resistance training, your bones release a chemical to coat them to make them strong, to make them more dense. And when that occurs, you're safeguarding your body. But you're safeguarding your, your bones. You're safeguarding the muscle group around you. So believe me when I tell you, these exercises do work. One thing I did forget to mention. When you come in here and looking for what you are trying to accomplish, do not let nothing set you back. Come in here with the frame of mind that this is a lifestyle. This is something that you don't pick up and put down after six months. This is something that is necessary to you as the air that you breathe. Here's the funny thing. We can waste time going to a bar. We can waste time going to a club. We can waste time going to something that's not really, how would you say, important of a function. But when it comes to, and I'm not trying to preach no religion or anything, but when it comes time to go to church or going, I was going to church or going to um, going to take care of your body or going to mm, what other what other type of function that you wouldn't think that's in, you know that's important. You don't do it. Right, we can get to it another time. Let me put it to you this way, bluntly. When a doctor tells you 
or a physician tells you you have to get into the gym, you have one foot in your casket and one foot out. That's a fact. When he tells you, he or she tells you, you have to go. Not you should go, you have to go. I've never had that occur. If you don't want to have your life in the later years taking pharmaceuticals, because now you know half the time you go to a physician, they're giving you something to take for this or for that. And that's the last thing. They have so many things that are natural on the market that all you have to do is Google to find out what you want or what's gonna help take down that, that cholesterol, that high cholesterol count that's bad, the LDL, or help take down other ailments in your body like like inflammation, it's all on the, at your fingertips.